Well, 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 well. Episode welcome back. 13 of oh, the Million Dollar Show. Absolutely right. Episode 13. Looking for some, I'm unlucky, unlucky for, for others. Most. Oh, it's Friday. Oh, oh it's actually. I'm just realizing it's the first time. The 13th episode on a Friday. Well, it's going to be disaster. I guess. So, yes, we are recording on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. It will not be released on the 13th. No. But it is Friday the 13th in this present moment. Which will be a week from now when you are seated. So, really now. But Friday the 13th episode. It's not the 13th. It is the episode 13. It's nothing to do with the date. Exactly. And it's recorded at 13th. May the 21st. Crazy. Well, we have a very special guest lined up for this evening, don't we, Paddy? Do we? What? Let me tell you now, he's the third best looking artist uh, podcaster. After myself, Paddy, obviously. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, obviously. And he's been recently named in the top 20 best Irish comedy podcast. He is interviewed <laughs> Ryan Carrick, Lucy Spraggan, and Darren Kennedy. Just, Just to name, name a few. few. Just to name a few, Paddy. And look, we have a great episode lined up and we hope you enjoy it. And we had a great episode last week with Miriam. Oh, if you didn't see it, check it out. Let's and we'll see you after this team song. Oh, what did I type? Right, it's team. It's right, the title sequence. It's the Dara and Paddy Show. What's it called? The Paddy and Dara Show. I'm pretty sure we said the Dara and Paddy Show. Definitely the Paddy and Dara Show. That's the one I read. Well, 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 welcome to the Paddy and Dara show, Mr. Connor Finn. Connor, how are you getting on, my man? Not too bad at all. I was literally trying to hold in fucking cackles there as there's exchanges. I don't know what happens to me as soon as I get chance once now. <laughs> I just will like giggle like hysterically. Um, but no, it's going great. Good. Yeah, great. It's, great. I can't <laughs> it's, a, it's a Friday, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah. Lads, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I live Rain the weekend. Park, I love my we love job. the weekend. We live the weekend. We love, the we love weekend. doing this. Yeah. We love yeah. meeting people. We love a Friday. We do Friday. Friday mm. feeling. Get into you. Exactly. Look, Connor. <laughs> it's great to have you on, and it must be really weird for you to be on because usually you're the man. Exactly. With the plan, you're the one in charge because you obviously. <laughs> Are the man behind interviews? Interviews, of course. And you are the, the host of that show, the podcast there. So, how does it feel being a guest? First of all, it must be odd now being on the other side of things. Yeah, I mean, I suppose uh, this is it. I um, usually control everything. Usually, you know, have my guests on, and also I usually get the fucking piss ripped out of me, like from all your mates, because apparently I have like a podcast voice that I put on. Do you know the way you hear like radio presenters being like, you're listening to 86, blah, 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 like this. <laughs> they say that I do that as well. So now I'm being conscious to not talk like a twat. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, I, there's a lot of like things running through my head to be like, right, Connor, you just like, just be normal for but once. You know what? But, like, it's, um, a Friday, it's a Friday night as well. Like, let like, go mm. of that as well. Don't be overly <laughs> self-conscious of any of that now. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah, let, God. Let, let Paddy pour myself a drink, honestly. Mm. Yeah, you would have got some unre- real unfiltered content. Like, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Look, how have you been getting on through the past few months? Obviously, like, it's been a bit of a hectic time. And um, I know things were slightly different uh, up in Ulster than it was in the Republic. What was it like up there? Um, Yeah, so I suppose it's actually... <laughs> When you actually said, mentioned this, we were like, oh, um, I love them just like completely breaking everybody's like allusion to what the podcast scene is. They did preempt me about this question. And I was like, yeah, no, ask me about us or whatever like this. I'm actually based in Dublin. So Whoa. I can. Yeah. I think we that before we start recording. Yeah, I'm actually in Drumcondra. So oh, like, you're I... He's only on the road, man. So if we could have yeah. it over. Yeah, over. I'm saying, there you go. No, but like, that's it. Um, I, yeah, so lucky enough, I dodged all of it, to be fair. Oh, um, yeah, so, um, but it was fun educating, literally being like, um, you know, talking to housemates and they're like, Do you know what, we've never been up like in the north before and i'm like oh, you know, guys it's really not that bad Do you know what i mean like i'm a ceasefire baby like there was a good friday agreement like honestly i've never experienced anything like that and then next thing i'm getting like sent on whatsapp being like connor i'm pretty sure they're like burning shit and like throwing bombs around i'm going like ah uh, yeah that, uh, that'd be home uh- <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But yeah, must have dodge it anyways. But uh, yeah, it's all been good crack anyway. So just surviving, huh? Whereabouts oh. actually in Ulster are you from? I'm from Armagh, so yeah, literally just on border. Uh, oh, anyways. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah a few mates it's from good. Armagh. It's a nice part of the country you've been. Yeah. Oh, well, Brady, well, I mean, like, as Dara said, there, <laughs> around like, down here, so like... people wouldn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dara said there, like, you know, that, that, that you're surviving, like, you're surviving and getting through mm. it. I would actually say that you're probably thriving, to be fair, because, I mean, listen, for interviews, it's in the top 20 of Irish comedy interview podcasts. Mm. Uh, so talk to us about how that came about, how to start and how to get up to that level. Yeah, well, I suppose, um, like every other kind of, you know, person during the pandemic and stuff like this, um, people were making either banana bread, you know, they were getting into kind of TikTok and stuff like this. I was shy of both. So I was like, do you know what I can do? <laughs> Run my mouth. Um, so let's record that and see how far we get on. And yeah, I was like, right, what am I going to do on everybody's making a podcast? You guys know yourselves, like trying to think of like an original concept, mm. like because the place was so in you did. There was like, I think I've seen a post. I think it was at the start of the first like lockdown pandemic that like Amazon had sold out of all their podcast recording equipment. And I was like, oh. okay, this is a dark day in humanity where there's like, <laughs> everybody's like, we're all going to record ourselves chatting. But yeah. um, yeah, I thought I was going to make like a game show thing. And then I went like, <laughs> I'm not going to be bothered editing that stuff. So I was like, do you know what? I'll just jump in the chair in and chat to people. Cause um, I just had a couple of contacts in like different kind of entertainment sectors. And I was yeah. like, do you know what? I could, I could probably get a couple of ones going and we'll see how far we get with it. And um, how did those contacts come about? Like how, like, how did you just kind of have them in the back catalog? Like, Oh, like, no, I would say like, I had three people that I was like, yeah, I could definitely get them. Every other person. And I'm on like episode 44 just came out there wow. today. Like it's been every Friday, like since, I don't know, like June last year. Yeah. Um, Every single one of them, I just chanced my arm at. Like, and I will say as well, like, I don't know why, but like, it's hard to switch off. Like every single day I'm just smashing people jumped into her DMs and management as well. Like I, God, there's some agents that must be like, like I'm pretty sure I'm blacklisted from some agency. <laughs> I like, think we Daniel, are as well. Right. Daniel <laughs> Donnell, I've like written to his agent when I've like two bottles deep, like I, oh, like I wine and stuff like, and I didn't even spell his name right. Like how do you misspell Daniel? Um, <laughs> Daniel, who's saying, like, Daniel Donnell, Dan was it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, oh, so, and so they're what like, say, is the secret to getting these high profile guests on? Is it just you, you know, being consistent and just kind of constantly <laughs> texting her? I say it'd be me being utterly shameless about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, and be, yeah. I like, I'd say borderline harassment, where it's yeah. like every <laughs> single social I can find on them. It's kind of like everything as well. Like, I feel like people just like when I realized everybody, you know, was locked in, I was being like, well, they're not fucking doing anything else. Like, <laughs> so I may as well just jump on a Zoom call with some wee specky kid from the North. Like, so yeah. And that's kind of what I've just ran with. So no, I've just been really lucky with some of the ones I've yeah. got. Um, yeah. I suppose it's kind of similar to yourselves. Like, do you know what I mean? You just kind of chance your arm and see how yep. far you'll get. You, your arm. <laughs> you don't know unless you ask. And then, mm, you know, exactly, you never know yeah. who might reply and, and you'd say... be surprised who's happy to help out. And, and just want, as Miriam said last week, like, sir, what's better than a chat like do you know what i mean so people do you might you might think like oh no they're kind of out of our reach out of you know there's no way we kind of be able to get in touch with them and then they're yeah, absolutely yeah not really doing someone else i'd love to come on and talk about the latest project or whatever so yeah. you never know yeah Just, exactly that's why you invited me on absolutely i get that you're being like god i need a fill up a slot here no <laughs> way he'd reply but <laughs> who, 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 who's some lowland fruit we can get jesus <laughs> <laughs> Uh, obviously, you've had a lot of uh, really cool guests on. You've had uh, Lucy Spragan. You've had a bit of uh, Darren Kennedy. Darren Kennedy. Uh, you've had, um, oh, what's his name? Flat Earth Dave, was it? <laughs> My favourite. Yeah, that's one I still get abuse about. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, How come? Else? Okay, well, like, because I suppose, first of all, it was like a bit of... Uh, like polarizing kind of one to do um because people would be like are you giving this person a platform that's been like that's all the fuck up here i don't have a fucking platform <laughs> at all to be like hosting anything but also i feel like so many people just read the title and not the actual interview but i actually got a couple of comments on like facebook and stuff where people are being like blah blah blah, blah, blah. this is like technically like anti-semitic like so basically this because i put out like a kind of disclaimer saying i'm not glamorizing i'm not demonizing basically just ask him it's like how has this affected your life and consistently he's like well yeah like i don't really speak to my family and stuff anymore and i'm be like okay um, <laughs> like i do not like make him out to be anything other than like yeah. i just i just ask him but yeah i, I still get that's abused from it i turned I... up the comments on it as well and like <laughs> like the flat earthers that's my one of my most listened to podcasts because all the flat earthers like have started like hooking on to it and like i was getting all these messages being like on other videos or other podcasts that put up being like 
why is this been taken down? Or like, why can't we comment on that one? And I'm like, oh. God. That <laughs> had it been taken down, is it? Or? No, no, no. They were like, oh, no, it was just, I talked down somebody's comment about it that oh, was like, trying to like, sorry, sorry, you know, like, like that was jumping on to be like, oh yeah, Dave was all like this. Like they really like, they oh, love, okay. like they're, they're culty, literally. Wow, it's so yeah, intense. Wow, that's so mad, because I, like, I thought it was a great idea. Like I was like, oh, like that's so it's funny. Like yeah. having someone on like that with such a, an interesting yeah. point of view. <laughs> And I guess like in my head, like the point of a podcast is to kind of just talk to people about their points of views about things. It's not necessarily giving them a platform. Like I would have been agreeing with you. It was more so just to hear it's what they have to say. It's yeah. like, having people on with interesting stories, your interesting like point of views on things and, and having a conversation and, you know, like obviously we're all different. We all have different, you know, views and different bit, bit, bits and pieces like that. So it is an interesting thing to listen to. I wouldn't say, you know, you're necessarily promoting something yeah. like that. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say there's any kind of hidden meaning like that behind it. Do you know, do you know what? I came into it just to bring back like me, big, big northern, uh, big sea star, baby. Uh, uh, I just learned from, you know, history in our past. It's often better to just kind of like chat to people that you maybe don't agree with or you maybe yeah, don't have yeah, the same absolutely. viewpoint. I feel like that's usually a bit more congressive to like fucking conversation there. Yeah, rather yeah, than like yeah. they can piss off so um to all the haters out there uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it no. would be very boring if we were all the same very true well, wouldn't yeah, this yeah. flat earth be very boring uh, for yeah, you yeah, the same? <laughs> disclosure breaking news Connor Finn and Patrick Quinn come out as yeah. flat earth <laughs> yeah. all live on the Paddy and Dara show <laughs> Paddy and Dara do not right flat earth terms and conditions they fly um, oh ask me a question so you're <laughs> Get on with it, Jesus. <laughs> Apart from your, your favorite flat earther, who would you say has been your favorite person to interview right. so far, or else been the most interesting or unexpected interview that you've had? Oh, it's so hard. I actually get asked this all the time, like just between mates and stuff, they're being like, oh, like who, you know, who was this like one? And I think I can't really pinpoint like the most interesting or something that like I just was unexpected because some people you bring on and like say it's like more kind of high profile ones as well I mean here's me saying like high profile just people I would see in my head is like really cool and stuff like this like some radio presenters that you come on and you're like this is their job they chat to people every other day they have been some of like the biggest like <laughs> like as soon as you start talking to him it is oh my god like anxiety like like sweat running down my back and all because i'm being like this person just needs to fucking get a personality no i'm only joking it's not that bad no i'm only saying that no like <laughs> hope they are listening to Connor. <laughs> yeah. oh no no like honestly it, it, they were, i feel like it's just um they're it's kind of because they're just putting the other side of things but like yeah. i'd be at, trying to like it'd be like trying to pull the conversation out of someone and it's just so awkward but i come out of it being like oh god and then sure you start adding it and you'll be like oh it's completely fine yeah um i'll say maybe one person i had him was like stephen byrne from like 2fm center right. and <laughs> i did not expect half the things that he was going to say like he chatted to me i say about 40 minutes prior to the podcast like and i was being like okay this is grad should we start recording soon he's like yeah go on <laughs> and he was like literally telling me about like his teeth all night live on air and all like this like he just had some mad stories that i was being like because he does all the oscar things and stuff like this yeah i think i just invited him on because i was being like oh yeah like he does like really cool chats with like you know celebrities and mm-hmm. yeah. kinda, i was interested being like okay how the fuck did i get there <laughs> um and then he just had this whole other life like of all these random stories i was like man how have you survived like he's been like oh i just got hit by a car the other week and like, all this other stuff and i was like this is chaotic and i'm and i'm loving it but um yeah everybody kind of had their you know highlights i, I feel like just everybody like that I invite on even flat earth dave do you know what i mean you have to like give everybody their words like yeah that, yeah different bits and pieces but yeah that's brilliant yeah really cool and where are you hoping to take <laughs> interviews to like what's the next step <laughs> <laughs> where, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we on the upper upper? Going stretch? to the moon. Well, see, my hope was to kind of get on to party and dar it. Oh, okay. that's, that's, so, so, so you free start now, yeah. So, so you basically, basically we'll this is me there, peaking. Yeah. After this is like plateau. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> so that's essentially all I was really looking to get from. All right, you're free uh, you got to the man. Listen, you have to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you may have had to go through Darren Kennedy and Lucy Spragan, but you got to us now, yeah. When you finally you got there, you got there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly no i suppose i um just want to see how far i can get like i suppose that it's the same as yourselves where i kind of started out as just kind of a whimsy where i was being like oh but sir means thin like i'll interview people for interviews okay podcast um and it's been funny to see how many people are like 
that I was genuinely interested in that like were able to get back and stuff like I don't know you guys know Luther O yeah. yeah right so <laughs> I have like when I say shameless literally like I was like mashing the agents all like this I like to get the like usually they don't respond to anything at all yeah. but like I will be like they, they actually got back and be like just not right now in the moment for it and be like okay that's code for whatever like <laughs> we're never gonna get on but like I if I get Louis through on the podcast or like Blind Boy or something else, like wow. top the same here. thing about Blind Boy. Like, is, oh. That's interesting with Louis now. I think is Louis coming on next Friday with yeah, us? Yeah, no, no, I'm really joking. Oh, no, I get it. It's bad. Yeah. Or do you know what's really good? I find like just uh, and people on Twitter, it turns out to be great. There was like someone's like Dar Breen or something like this was like saying stuff, and I was be like, oh, fuck it, come on, it's fine. And then I was be like, the, the, like, the silence is deafening. And then he replied, and I was be like, He's like, maybe not right now, man. And then I took a screenshot of his agent reject me. And I was like, when, <laughs> Dara, when? <laughs> but yeah, no, I just hope to see where it can really go. No really yeah. expectations from it. Yeah, just said, go with yeah. the flow. Exactly. That's yeah, like starting yeah. something like them. Yes, I like having a chat. Let's see where this goes. And it's, go, it's mm. going amazing. Like, it seems to be going very yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in, ter- in terms of like, like dream job, like, you know what I mean? Like, what is obviously so that's with like with interviews you're going to see where it goes but what do you see yourself doing career-wise down the line do you want to be a radio presenter tv stand-up comedy maybe what's what's teacher the, what's the thing <laughs> yeah. dream? Oh, God. um no i suppose like my kind of background be working kind of broadcast like in tv and radio and stuff like that and like i was working just kind of before panda kind of like shit and everything with joe dot and whatever and um i suppose yeah i would love to kind of get further down the line hopefully more into presenting, um, whether that is kind of any broadcast things. But at the same time, I love my kind of making me videos and whatever, like essentially, yeah. if it's able to culminate something where I can essentially get paid to chat shit for a living, that would be <laughs> the ideal. Yeah, um, no matter the platform, I think of a face for radio. So um, yeah, maybe that's like my kind of route that would go down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, Connor, I definitely disagree with that last statement. Now I think it was a striking face, and I think oh. Connor said so. Connor said something very funny earlier on. See, that was a hook out there for you. He, he was admiring our lovely backdrop there. I think he thought that we built this just for the just for the yeah, show. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're mm. in our studio, and you were saying, you know, geez, I, I thought I was doing well. I put putting the plants in the background, but I have to say now, I think your aesthetic is brilliant, and and, and it's, listen, it's it's subtle, but it's. Amazing. Buddy, would you stop flirting with the guests? Yeah. My God, I do all the time. every <laughs> week, yeah. every week. Please don't. It's been lock, long lockdown. Jesus Christ, that's all I need. <laughs> it's, it's been a while, kind of. It's been a while. <laughs> so close, so lads. Close. We'll get you to dicey soon, right? We'll get you to dicey soon. <laughs> Look, yeah. I think we should uh, spice things up with a cheeky Paddy and Dara classic. I'm ready game. to get spicy. Okay, Connor, <laughs> are you ready for your first Paddy and Dara official segmental game? I already said yes. that, but thanks, Let's go. buddy. Okay, <laughs> go. this is one that we like to call Lightning Round. <laughs> Thank you very much, Patrick. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Look, uh, Lightning Round, very easy. We're basically just going to shoot you with a few this or that questions or a one mm. answer question. Mm. So it could be <laughs> anything from what's your favorite color to Buzz Lightyear versus Woody or something like that. Oh, I'm shitting it, go on. Ah, no, don't this be is, shitting it. And this is the least intense of all our games. Yeah, way, it's so actually probably the okay. chillest Yeah, this is the easiest. You're like, this round one, fucking good luck to you for the rest of it. Oh, yeah, okay, you, yeah. you know what? Very I'm good. here for it. I'm confident. We're going to go. Yeah, okay. I'm going to rock. Paddy, you can start us off. Okay, Connor, I want to know, what is your favourite accent? <laughs> Welsh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. TV or radio? Uh, TV. Uh, favorite country to visit on your holibops? Ooh, um, uh, France. Sandy beaches or pebble beaches? Oh, sandy beaches, hand down. If you're a pebble beach, you, uh, you're some psychopath. Like, come on. <laughs> we'll discuss that after. <laughs> favorite TV show slash sitcom? Oh, see, I'm a huge movie buff, and I like literally watch so many TV shows. Um, I know it's supposed to be light and right. Um, favorite show at the moment, Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Okay, oh, very good. My mom's on that. Mm. She's a big fan. Oh. Of yeah. <laughs> Me and your mom are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> movies or novels? Oh, movies. Yeah. Like myself, like mm. myself. Mm. So my, this is an interesting one now. But what would you say, Connor, is the most important uh, personality trait in a partner? Oh. <laughs> Um, I think the need a sense of humor. I say, um, if you, if you have that, you're fucking winning. Um, yeah. everything else, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah, sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. It's important. I agree, I agree. It's very Absolutely. important. 
Uh, milk or dark chocolate? <laughs> I didn't know where that one was going to go. <laughs> oh, I, I was like, milk or honey, and that's being like, what? Um, mm, oh, I actually really like dark chocolate. And like, nice. I, again, I like, I'm, I am like, very much um, turn into my mum, like the tiniest <laughs> bit older I get, like I fucking skull down red wine and dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, red yeah. wine and dark chocolate, yeah, very nice. Classic mm. combo. Interesting. Yeah, a little nice rom-com. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Wrong. Um, Xbox or the PSs? PS4 oh, PlayStation. Yeah. Good man. Mm, I've been a PlayStation devout since PlayStation day 1. one, day one. Never migrated mm. to the Xbox. And last one from me. Are you more of a main course man or a dessert man? Oh, see, the wee fatty in me, like, loves going out for coffee. I get treats every day. But, like, if you're out for dinner, sir, main course. Do you know what I mean? Wap up that steak. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like your steak, Hunter? <laughs> Oh, medium. The only way. Mm. Medium rare, medium. Oh, sorry, medium rare. Oh, okay, God. Okay. Jesus. Oh. I like the oh. <laughs> I felt, I felt, I felt the judgment thing. right there. It's been like, medium. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> passionate about yeah. medium rare that's that's steaks. Uh, mm, medium rare steaks. It's, it's ruined, in my opinion. Top here. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my final one for you, Connor. Your final lightning round question is Have you got a pre pod routine? <laughs> oh. Um, I was actually taking the piss out of this the other day um, <laughs> because uh, I brought one of my, I have this segment where I do like intervention where it's basically like an agony aunt thing. I had one of the housemates down and uh, she was basically just like packing and seeing me going around the room. Um, I don't say I have anything in particular, but um, oh, I'm trying to think. I definitely do some weird shit before I go up there. I, I, I say like, Probably the only thing that I do is I will make sure that I'm like, I'm like a child on school bus. I'm like, I need to go to the toilet about three times before I run, run a podcast in case I just get like, oh, oh, one of you is just like that as well. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. He ran to the like, bathroom when we went to check the audio. Yeah, because I don't know why. Sure like, 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 there's a the fear that I'm over. just, there's a fear that I'm just going to piss myself on podcasts <laughs> or something. I have no idea. It's like, there's a toilet right around the corner, but yeah, I you say know, that's just on that, right? Slightly off topic, but also not at all. I was listening to Tommy Ternan's a solo podcast. Oh, yeah? Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. I think it's just called Tommy Ternan Podcast, oh, no? no? Name for it, now. I, 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 it doesn't really matter. But basically, <laughs> he was saying he was trying a brand new technique, right? All right. Um, for like your know, podcast performance. Mm -hmm. And that mm. technique was to do the entire show. Needing to go. Bursting for a piss. Yeah. The full show, like, you know, really <laughs> Really to go just I don't know if it gives them a little keeps it on edge yeah it keeps it on edge <laughs> a bit of adrenaline I'm not too sure but I actually yeah. do that uh by an accident yeah. every single show because I plan to go and then I'm like oh my god the guest's supposed to be on two minutes ago so then mm. I won't go to the toilet and then like an hour in and I'm like slowly but surely getting more like <laughs> Do you know, um, if you really want to go on edge, do you know what you need to do? You need to book your podcast for like first thing in the morning when you get like that morning coffee, because I swear to God, it's kind time. Like you have a five minute slot before bile start moving. Yeah, like that'll yeah, really yeah, put yeah. you on. Like you'll be whipping out like five, three, <laughs> you know, podcasts per morning. You'd be like, here we gotta go. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like you're on the clock and it's, it's, it's the bile's are making decisions right now. Yeah. Trying to bash through them. Very good. <laughs> I think that brings us to our first official segment of the yeah. Paddy and Dara show yeah. and it's one we well, do with all is, our guests. We do this one every single week, Connor. We've never missed a week except for about <laughs> maybe t two of them. Only two of them, I'd say. Have yeah, you ever missed this one? I'm not too sure. Connor, we have a lovely little team jingle for this. We're going to play it now. It's called Honestly Hour. Honesty is the best policy. Let's hope it doesn't get sour in Honesty Hour. Love it. So, Honesty Hour in five minutes. Yeah, so the name of the game is Honesty Hour in five minutes. It takes about maybe <laughs> Three, seven, five, eight, ten. To nine minutes. <laughs> so yeah, maybe 12. eleven. Maybe eleven. Basically, mm. matter how this works is me and Dara will both ask you and the other person a very big, personal, deep question. We must answer completely honestly. 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 Mm -hmm. Honestly. Honestly. Yes. honestly. Dara, would you like to kick us mm. off with this one? I'm going to kick us off you with this us. one. And uh, it's, it's one I was... Uh, I was thinking about because my mom reminded me of this situation happening mm. uh, last week and and I thought it'd be a funny one to ask. Mm. So I want you guys to tell the viewers and the listeners mm. about a time where you broke the circle of trust Ooh. with your parents. <laughs> the circle of trust. Oh, huh? okay, with parents. Okay, that rounds it down. I was being like, just when my circle <laughs> I broke. Um, can you, 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 can, you can kick us off with this one. Right. 
a time that I broke in circle of trust with my parents. Um, <laughs> so bit of preempt. Um, I'm the youngest out of, I've like, there's four of us siblings all together. And obviously, I don't know if either of you are youngest in family. You tend to get away with a lot more. And um, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I was so much growing up, whenever like my brother's sisters, like say if they came in drunk, I'd be like, like mom and dad, I'd be like, you know, not never no never ever like uh, have you seen how they got it and that's fucking embarrassing like you never <laughs> i'm not gonna be doing that at all and they gave me a mm-hmm. bit too much liberty i would say when i was about 15 16 and um yeah that like <laughs> backfired. <laughs> backfired very quickly um i'd say that was like one of the biggest ones where they'd be like we thought we could trust you and then every single time like i don't know why my like i was like i didn't intend for this to happen and then it'd be like every other week and then just the same thing it's like i didn't intend and then yeah that was probably one that like the circle of trust, trust was broken on a bi-weekly basis <laughs> um but sure we survived yeah not nothing too dramatic i'd like to say with my parents hopefully maybe that's only but yeah was there any repercussions now um and well no nothing too bad i think they tried to grind me but again my ones are really oldies so they didn't actually understand what grinding was and then they're being like they're like does he have to stay in the room does he stay in the house and i was like oh can i like spin into town here and they're being like yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like there wasn't really like an understanding of what it was i think they were just watching some tv shows and be like you're grounded and then i was yeah. like okay you're grounded <laughs> back yeah, in the day yeah. it was a slap with the wooden spoon i think that's what our parents would have gotten you see Oh God, yeah, I know. We used to have the wooden spoon, but then mom cracked it so hard and the table had broken half one day. And honestly, <laughs> it was like proper, you know, like 12 years slave, whatever, like the thing breaks and you'll be like, freedom. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Very good. <laughs> the wooden spoon, Jade. You're, you're afraid, you're afraid. Uh, every Irish person's biggest fear, oh, the wooden yes. spoon. <laughs> Paddy, do you have any <laughs> tales of breaking the See, circle it, of trust? It's interesting, we know though. Patrick's mom now mm. has a big thing about trust, and so does my mother. Yeah, um, the thing is, lads, like, like my mom has a huge thing about trust, a huge thing, uh, um, and, she, and she actually worked her beliefs, beliefs and views around trust into a visual uh, demonstration uh, when, I, when I was a, when I was a young man. Um, so what she did was now, kind of, I'm not sure if you've seen this little trick. Very powerful, you know. You know the way a picture tells a thousand words mm. on an action. <laughs> Let me tell you, lads, many words. So she wrote the word trust on a piece of paper, right? And uh, and she very slowly said, right, this is trust. It's a full piece of paper, right? This is it. Oh, then what she did was she, she, she started ripping it, ripping the fucking shade out of it. Like, <laughs> it's this little tiny p- bit of paper, right? A little scrap yeah. of paper and threw it on the ground. And she goes, now, I want you to put that back together. Right? And of course, they were tried, like, you know, tried to put, put it back together. And right, here's a bit of tea, here's a bit of the order, whatever. And I got it back and she was like, right, now... You see the way this is broken, mm. and I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, it's broken, but like you can make it out, it's because you can make it out, but that will never be the same again. Yeah. And I was like, Fuck, powerful, like, do you know what I mean? So honestly, Jesus. like, I'm gonna be honest, with you, like, I, like, I, that, I stuck rigidly to that now through life, so I don't think there were any big moments where there was like there was trust there, and now it's shattered. Like, and I actually managed to, to work that physical demonstration in, into a little thing for college as well. I was doing a thing on like trust and respect for, for <laughs> yeah. primary school teaching, and I think I did quite well in it. So yeah, it right. came around, uh, it, it came around the full circle there. But uh, have you anything in particular? Did you for never me? break the trust? No. Because there was a reason she showed that, was there not? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, I can't remember I, I what I like did. Led to I cannot remember. <laughs> don't know, boys. See, Paddy's a good boy, and so I, am I, I to be fair. Mm. Uh, Maybe a few minor things like yourself, Connor, but nothing, no one defining moment that springs to mind now. Mm. See, myself and Patrick are only children, which means mm. that if you do anything wrong, you're a terrible person. So we, mm. we've had to live the life of being very good we've boys. Been we've been good We've been good boys. We're mammy's boys. Yeah, we are. Right? We are it's no, mm. I don't think it's any shock to any of the viewers no. or listeners. But um, <laughs> I remember I was about 11 or 12 mm. Mm. and um, my, my mom was adamant that, you know, I wasn't allowed to make a Facebook account because oh, at the time, that's when Facebook oh, was kind of hot. Preaching to the choir here. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, one day I decided I'd make a Facebook account anyway, but I was very smart about it. I said, look, you know, obviously my mom can just look me up. So I came up with a little fake name, a pseudonym, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah. So, um, I believe my name was Ahmed Putraski. Oh, um, wow. so, that's very, <laughs> that's like was very, half... yeah, Jesus, that's like a good, you know, pseudonym. Yeah. Wow. You really don't think, yeah. <laughs> half Russian, half Arab, you apparently, because Putraski sounds, you know, my name is Putraski. And then we have Ahmed, 
which is very <laughs> Did you come up with this name yourself? Arab. Or you find it online? It, I made it myself. That's phenomenal. So I was Ahmed huh. Putraski. My profile picture was just a Skrillex uh, album cover. <laughs> Because obviously I was 11, so dubstep was my fucking jam. Uh, Bangarang was like my my alarm and my ringtone. Mm. You know that was. (laughs) I literally did. Yeah, yeah. I identified (laughs) as being a Skrillex hard fan. Anyway, I I was successfully reigning as Ahmed Petrovsky on Facebook for like a year and a half, maybe two years, and all was going well. And then one day. Uh, my dad called me into the sitting room and he was like, Dara, are you on Facebook? And I was like, no, no, uh, uh, no. Uh, I was like, you can look my, you can look up my name. Like, you won't find anything and all. Hmm. And he was like, oh, um, so the name, like, Ahmed uh, doesn't ring a bell. And I was like, I knew straight away, oh, shit, I've been called out, I've been called out. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, I made a Facebook account and all. And I was like, he, I was like, please don't tell that mom, please don't tell mom. He's like, oh, I won't, I won't, I won't. Of course, he told my mom. So, oh. mom, uh, who was very, very annoyed with me because, mm. not because I made a Facebook account, broke but because I broke the Alive. circle of trust. Mm. I broke the trust, right? She, she's not annoyed. She's not, she's just disappointed. Disappointed. Yes. Oh, but that's the one that fucking kills it. <laughs> I was <laughs> hit. I hate to hear that. Don't we? Would. <laughs> I hate to hear that one. And I would have <laughs> actually rather, I would have rather she yelled at me, but instead she didn't speak to me for an entire mm. week. She Eleven, gave you an entire <laughs> week. And I was, I was genuinely like, she gave it the so, equivalent to the open, like she gave me the open, yeah. she gave me the scene, lads. And I remember I was absolutely just losing my bananas. I was literally like, "Mom, why won't you speak to me?" <laughs> and she'd just be like, you know, uh, rubbing the fucking plates, you know, clean. And she just ignored me for a week. Wow. Anyway, I bought her like a bouquet of flowers, and I was like, "I'm really sorry, please." And she forgave me. But I, it's safe to say I've never broken the trust ever again because I was so. Uh, traumatized yeah. after the first. That's time. amazing. That's the first time I've ever heard that story. Did not know that Ahmed Petrovsky existed. Well, guys, here we are. Here we the, are. the Paddy and Ahmed show. <laughs> the Paddy and Ahmed show. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to relabel. So yeah, we're we'll, we'll doing a new logo for just for this one. Yeah, I'll have Derek X now. And yeah, excellent. Brilliant. I feel like. I can really talk liberty with those being like, yeah, well, I just like break the trust all the time. And you guys being like, you know, real like minor situations being like, I just, I couldn't do it again to them. And I'm being like, Christ, maybe I'm just a wee twat. <laughs> 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 oh my god but i mean really like ahmed oh i know come on I sir know. like yeah that as you said you know what i mean you ripped up that paper can't well you, you can, you can make it out we'll it's not getting back, back together you, you know, Jeez, sorry, that's like you, proper you, like psychological guy yeah. like yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah oh, brain stuff like brain stuff jesus yeah. you teach yeah. imagine that combined with them but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not annoyed i'm just disappointed like the two of them together now oh <laughs> yeah. dagger oh tag team but yeah no it's powerful stuff on powerful stuff stuck with me do you want to take the next one yeah that's very quick question just for the two boys now and this is a one-liner because tag did me last week for spending three hours to ask a very simple question so my question to you two men is what is your biggest fear? Ooh. This can be like, and it can range from spiders to dying Ooh. alone. It can be anything at all. Like, <laughs> whatever, whatever, Triggers. whatever. What scares you? <laughs> oh God, biggest fear. Oh my Jesus. Um, oh, I, does anybody really know their biggest fear? I feel like when you're, we're like, obviously, you know, we're young, dumb, you heard it. Like, um, I, you don't really have anything you, you guys do what I was going uh, you don't really like have like anything else that you're like really afraid of I used to be shit scared of spiders like properly couldn't be in the same room as ones but I tell you what I did with that I turned that fear into hatred like I mean oh. proper like bitch like I went around my house like because there was actually a, like a full like nest them under my bed that like in this like just some from laundry that fell down um and i swear to god i like ransacked our house and i feel like not every time to see a spider i'm like killing it um but that one i got over biggest fear um would that be would that be a fair one i mean i I feel like that's like more self-preservation than fear like but i like preferably would not like to die (laughs) 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 yeah i feel like that's like that's a good fear yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. um but nothing nothing really like phobias or anything like younger one like major phobia yeah exactly that yeah yeah no no luckily not like yeah just um the phobia of yeah not i mean not being able to do this anymore oh that's the biggest fear do you know what i mean i'll get cancelled someday yeah 
<laughs> very good. No, what about you, lads? Listen, philosophical there, yeah, brain. Come oh, on. Okay, my Harris. biggest fear. See, like, if we're talking Years like, change, like if we ha- if we're talking like actual fears, I actually have a pretty big fear of heights, mm. and like, it's oh. it's it's more so if like you're looking over like somewhere and like oh i just get like a kind of a vertigo feeling mm. like if you're up high in croke park <laughs> and the what's the the hogan oh, stand yeah. and you're really? up high, like, I get a bit like Ugh! looking down i'm like oh i'm gonna fall and plunge to I'm... my death even though it's just like a few rows of seats up like but um if we're talking that then yeah probably heights mm. uh, i'm fine though like on roller coasters and like rides and stuff like that mm. it's more so if you're not like strapped in and harnessed and you know that yeah. you're not gonna <laughs> plunge to your death well, this is, it's more like I'm, I'm afraid of like falling and dying than, yeah. than the height element yeah. so it's, yeah. so it's, it's kind of more that yeah than, true uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. if we're talking deep and yeah. uh, we'd say that i probably have a fear of maybe like people like bitching about me or something yeah. like i feel like mm. that's more something when you're younger like uh, like having a fear that people are see like your friends are secretly like bitching behind your back or something it's more like a paranoia yeah. thing of growing mm. up i feel like the older i get the more i don't give a shit about what anybody yeah, thinks so i'd say in like two years time i just won't care but uh um, mm. it's a welcome path yeah i've been yeah, yeah. stringing it for a while <laughs> now <laughs> we'll get there guys <laughs> very good it's your own detriment yeah it'll be yeah you know, i mean how to lose friends and alienate people <laughs> absolutely one-on-one <laughs> paddy do you have a fear uh, you'd like yeah, to share well, i suppose like uh well back in the day boys i used to be quite claustrophobic like you know and this came oh. from us this came from a few of my friends put me in a box now i'm not speaking <laughs> metaphorically very very literally they put me in a box and closed it like what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. A few lads. ah listen they're nice lads now all right but, but, um, I think Thomas, Thomas might have been there. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we're all, we're all good mates now. But I remember back in the day, a few of the boys put me in a box and they closed the box. All right. And they like sat in the box and I couldn't escape the box. Oh, and I was like starting to panic oh. and like, <gasps> you know, like I couldn't breathe and all this. And I was really, like, I didn't enjoy that. That sounds terrible. Um, yeah. Was it in a box? Was it, or, or did they, where did, what was it? Uh, they put a beam on my head and then sat in that. Maybe that happened as well. <laughs> Maybe both things. <laughs> and then mm. we didn't help the equation then in sixth class. What happened there? We were having a water fight and we tied Patrick oh, yeah. to the fence, my own fence. with my socks. Own fence. And we put a Start bucket over me, his head it? and started yes. whipping him and all yes. with, and throwing water balloons at him. Exactly. Um, God, very triggered. I can see it in the back of your eyes or like the fear scattering back. It's like PTSD. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I got, I got, yeah. But um, yeah, and, and I always kind of like, I think growing up then kind of hated like, you know, confined space. Mm. Like, you know, small tunnels I used to have to crawl yeah. through like a kid. I always hate fear being stuck mm. in them and stuff like, you know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, so that, I never really liked enclosed spaces. I'm better now, but still wouldn't be great. Fair enough, fair and enough. then the philosophical side of things, boys, I would say one line. Um, I'm excited to, to venture on through the journey of life, but perhaps mm. have a fear of Losing my sense of self along the way. How's that? Jesus, you guys are very, you're so much more mature than me. You're I'm, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, a, I'm a spider not... and I don't want to die. And you're being like, I suppose it's like about losing friends and like also losing yourself along the way. Like... <laughs> it took me a good two hours to write that earlier on, but don't worry, that wasn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you wrote down the jacks there and there. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> losing a uh, my self, sense of it's self, self no, no, exactly. <laughs> Dara what do you think of this one it's so good mm. um, yeah uh, right lads no, will do, we get into it I was actually just about to say there as well. Have you ever had the nightmare? Now, this one, I don't know why, but my teeth fall out. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think we all had that. Yes. So, like, what is and that? I don't know. It's like a nightmare reoccurring, definitely. It's the only one I'll ever really get that anything scary happens. So, but, oh, my God. When I tell you, I wake up next morning and be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Or any times that, like, I'll be a night out. Like, I, my brother actually was on night out once and it was like, do know just like a bit of a mess but some guy turned around and like literally just dacked him but he was quite drunk he went straight down the ground when i say my, my worst fear i seen it in real life his front tooth or like teeth like shattered like oh. caught in half and i just couldn't look at him i was like oh, well, like made me gag and all like and it's <laughs> and, like it was nothing to do with him is that you just being like yeah. i just right. like i like i can't say that to myself like oh the biggest fear coming to life. Do you know what I, mean? I, I, oh. I think a lot of us have had that that's, that's yeah. quite a common one i, th- I think it's, mm. it could be an anxiety thing so i remember looking into it and it was like around exam time or yeah or, you know there's something happening is a stress get them in yeah. sixth year yeah mm. um i would actually be that my teeth I'd look in the mirror and my teeth were like 
bent inwards Ooh, into my I'm mouth and like blood everywhere and like yeah. they were like kicked in or something Ooh. it was oh. awful I've yeah. had losing it but that's a, that's a very specific twist yeah, on it yeah yeah, yeah. And I can yeah. feel like I know the pain I feel like the teeth in my mouth and all was mm. ah horrible okay you know what? <laughs> we'll move on we'll I move think on. it's time boys I think it is time to move on from the rot of breaking trust and, and biggest teeth. fears right and Finn uh, 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 what's his name again his name is not Finton <laughs> Connor. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> Connor. I was, I was, whatever, I was, whatever you want, baby. <laughs> 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 you call me, yeah. Yeah. Just don't, just don't call me yours. Yeah. Your role play <laughs> name now is Finton. Yeah. Call me whatever yeah. you want. Just don't call me at 2 a.m. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Finton. <laughs> no. <laughs> just roll off. Uh, I'm the only other one on this call. Like, do you know what I mean? I, 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 I'll pick up the answer. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll get a little scared. Let's try that a fourth time. Yeah, a fourth time. <laughs> Cutter, what we're going to do now, right? A brand new game just for you. Obviously, you write, you know, for interviews. You record mm. it. You interview your guest. You edit the show. Mm. But how well do you really know interviews like how well do you really really know the show uh, we decided i can to see the put sweat. it to the test okay beads of sweat growing there so connor. Connor, look at him hiding look at him hiding he wants to go what we oh, have done shit. connor we have a list of six quotes from across the 40 whatever amount of episodes you've done now of interviews um one one line that that Six guests have said, we're going to read them out. I want you to try and identify Which who said it. it is. And you'll get a point oh. to be a little ding that you're going to hear. Yeah. That's so impressive. God, I'm really going to make a twat of myself. On a scale of <laughs> zero, from zero to ten, how confident do you feel about this one? Oh, I'd say I'm a solid four. Like, my short-term memory is out the window. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'll probably be logging off this and I'll forget about it completely. Um, but sure, well, far away. Hopefully, hopefully I'll redeem myself. Make it a few. All right, Very well, I'll, I'll, I'll kick you off then. Let's kick us off. Kick you off, Connor. Here we go. So the first quote is, I realised early on that I could get away with doing fuck all work if I had people on my good side. Oh, oh, I know who this is. Um, it's a comedian. Um, oh, no, it's not all. It's Guinness Guru. Yes, it very is. Very good. Yeah, it very is good. good. That's good one point. Yourself. Mm. Fair play. Right, off to a good start. Okay, quote two. Mm. If I was showing some ability in that field, he was very supportive. If I was showing some ability in that field, he was very supportive. Mm -hmm. Ring any bells. Um, I'm gonna just go for. Oh, jeez. I know where you've picked these up from as well. It's definitely the three sound bites that I post up, so I should definitely go with them. Um, <laughs> some of them are. Some we kind of just skip in a little bit just to make oh, it. Oh, no. Um, he's very supportive. Oh, God. I. Oh, it's not Flat Earth Dave. Builder said Flat Earth Dave. No. I know it's not. not. I know it's not at all. Who is it? It was, it was, uh, it was actually Frank Mitchell. I was going to say Frank Mitchell as well. Oh yeah, God, well, you did. Did. No, you did. No, okay, well, for, like... yeah. Who was he, Do you remember who he, who he was talking about? Yeah, he was talking. Wait, what, what was the going... question? <laughs> <laughs> if I was showing some ability in that field, he was very supportive. Um. Oh God, no, I've actually no idea who he's talking about. Like, okay. I, I, I like remember the, the interview so well. God, Frank, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to, we're going to, to your third quote. quote. <laughs> Chance okay. to recuperate yourself. He, he was talking about his father. Okay. Oh. God. So the next quote <laughs> is, <laughs> some people can't get 12 people to a birthday party and I can get 12 random people to a bar in Wisconsin. Oh, that's Mickey Bartlett. Actually not. Oh no! What? <laughs> but he said it with such confidence. Wait, I really wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's Lisa Spragan. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 give it to you. Oh, okay. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. I need. I jumped on it too quick. I need to think yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. God, yeah, man, I give yourself it. some breathing yeah, space. Come on. Time. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I'm so stressed. Jesus Christ. Next one. It doesn't matter how famous they are. We've got that connection. We can talk about the fact that we are Irish. Uh, oh, Christ. <laughs> I really want to say this is like Stephen Byrne, but like, no, I think, is it probably like Sinead O'Carroll or something? Oh, no, oh. Am I doing, I'm not winning at any of these. What, what? <laughs> you got two, you got two. No, you yeah. got two, right. Okay, that was Kira King. 
Christmas Cure King. Episode 18. <laughs> oh my god. She then the goes board. on to talk about her experience interviewing Donald Gleason in London. Yeah, yeah. and then she was talking about even like interviewing the fucking um, Michael D and everything. I don't oh know, I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just found out how that'll do. Okay. No, oh god. Uh, my last one for you this. is. I came in with the worst headshot imaginable. I was wearing a turtleneck and posing like James Bond. Is he still with us or is he frozen? I think he might have frozen. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right, it froze. I free there for a second. Um, I did hear the quote, but like, I'll, I maybe just maybe refresh whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the quote is: I came in with the worst headshots imaginable. I was wearing a turtleneck and posing like James Bond. Oh, is this Sean Burke? Way well yes. done. Well done. <laughs> Okay. That was a throwback, Jesus! And my last one. Fair play, that was an early one. That was an early one. This is your final question for quarter of a million euro. And this is for four points, though, is it? <laughs> I think this is for mm. point four points, yeah. yeah. You've got three out of five so far for number four. I think it's about keeping your eyes open as well as following where the flow leads you. That could be literally anyone. Could be yeah, anyone. that that was a hard one. To be fair. That's a real tough one. Oh, not about anything. Your eyes open, see where flow leads you. Oh, who the fuck, fuck talks like that? Here's <laughs> 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 me literally just like slandering all of my guests, like getting up their anti time, and I'd be like, oh, stupid. <laughs> um, oh. Oh jeez, I'm literally trying to rack my brain That's to be like. for time hey. now, Connor. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do you know what? That kind of actually sounds a bit like um Sinead O'Carroll kind of one. Oh, I know. not. That was Darren Kennedy. That was Darren. <laughs> my boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting a rinse now. Oh, Jesus Christ, no, that was, three out of six, not bad. That's 50%. Yeah. You would have passed. Yeah. You it's do my own show. show. I didn't really know it. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, and I think that brings us to our final segment <clears throat> of the show. The we do it each week without fail, except for the weeks where we don't do Gosh, it. No we like to take a big deep breath in and put all and of our emotion into it. <sighs> Lads, 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 it's, it's time, time for the slate. slate. It's the weekly review. It's that time of the week where we put <laughs> everything on the table. We talk about something on the slate, something negative we want to get off our chest. Connor needs an AED. Can we get a CPR man in here? Yeah, he's not a, he was not able for that. Let Sorry, I was like, is this a fever dream? That was so like coordinated, like yeah, to a T. I was like, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> impressive. It's our 13th time doing it, so yeah, we yeah, should yeah. be fairly good. It's, now. it's actually it's our 700th not... time doing it. Oh, yeah, we used it. to do Technically, it. Technically, yeah. we, we used, used to do it the last day of school, or the last day of the week, yeah. the last class of the week in school. Yes. Chest, then we got good vibrations, vibrations that are vibing mm -hmm. really goodly. And then we have the, the weekly whimsical whimsy. moment of the weekly whim. The whimsical zness Something zness funny. Zness Let's move on now. We're yes. starting to we're starting, starting to waffle. waffle. Now, slate. Connor, something <laughs> you want to get off your chest, put on the slate, let the gods have it. Right. What do you want to say so, goodbye to? I was um, thinking about this long and hard as well, because obviously you guys gave me this to be like, right, you know, slate, good vibrations, all the rest of it. Now, slate controversial opinion um uh -oh. i mean i feel like this is all i've been chatting about this fucking interview i've, I've been chatting out my whole boss right take away pints are actually shite um they actually... <laughs> sorry i like at the start whenever he's getting hyped up over them i was being like yeah class we can all go sit out do you know what i mean like you're in the park or whatever yeah lovely to get a fresh pint because yeah, yeah. you know everybody's just been living off their balls to take away stuff like this yeah. No, like honestly, it's just pseudo. You're just convincing yourself. Yeah, if you true. are sitting out there and you've paid what, like, maybe like you can pay like near six euro in some places, yeah. and for Guinness that they had, okay, it's in the class of cup, I think, as well. They yeah. just it's shocking, it's non existent. Like, yeah, you may as well just pick up your cheap takeaway as you're sitting in the park, regardless of it. Like, but yeah, yeah. that was my slate of the week saying takeaway pints can take themselves yeah. away from me. I yeah. would agree with you, to be honest. I got takeaway <laughs> pints there yesterday. And my Guinness was not as good as my Serger cans. Oh, I've exactly actually learned, color. you know. Yeah. Uh, I do really think the Serger cans magical. are better. Um, mm. Very good. Yeah. My slate. So I'm putting our over-reliance on technology okay. on the slate. Why? 
because some mad bastard somewhere in the world, some have said Russia, <laughs> some have said Ukraine, who mm. knows where it is, but they hacked our entire health service. If you're listening and you're from Canada or Finland or France, our entire health service Whole things down. IT systems are down. The radiography mm. departments can't do anything. People can't get their test results. And it's merely because we're so over reliant now on technology. And yes, technology is a great thing. It's allowed us to yeah. do amazing things. But how many people have had their lives put in danger now purely yeah. because we've we've been terrified of using a bit of paper trail here and there and we've lost people's mm. records now. Who knows if we'll get them back? Apparently it was like a ransom. There was a leak. Wait, what? There, there, I heard there was a leak though. There was apparently some like Facebook guy. He kind of had like this like Arab, but also kind of like Russian name. Um, like I think you mentioned him earlier, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There apparently he is. Well, guys, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I was gonna let myself <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. There yes, he it is. is not me. I did not hack the healthcare <laughs> service executive. Uh, and look, I mean, Ballsy, he's looking for like 50 million worth of Bitcoin. Wow. Do you blame him? And do you know what? Jesus. He might change his mind because the entire cryptocurrency market has crashed because oh, Elon no. Musk. Well, is that true? It is well, true. Well, you never told me that. No, I'm I didn't tell you that. that is it? No, it's not Bitcoin. Oh, it's not mine. Okay, but no. yours is also oh, crashed. Oh, mine also pumped. We'll discuss that after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a good time yeah. for crypto investors. Mm, Paddy, what are no, you on the or the health service. <laughs> well, I'm that now. I thought I was making millions off that. Apparently not. <laughs> no, um, I tell you what I'm putting the slate, lads. And it's just the um, the fact that with me, right, I'm in college at the moment, right? A few exams, you know, assignments, placement, a few different bits and bobs. But the lack of a visible finite endpoint yes. for me, right? <laughs> because it seems like, you know, I finished something, like I do three weeks of placement, and that feels like, okay, I'm finished now. Oh no, hang on. I've got another few assignments, okay, but mm. you know, the final, final, you know, last, last assignment, type it up, grab, bam, submit. I'm seeing everyone's stories, you know, has this final turn in receipt, done now. I'm like, great, I'm finished that. Oh no, but I'm still not quite done yet. I'll have an hour or now next Monday, okay, and then that's it. But it is, but it isn't, right? It yeah, is yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of the exam type stuff. But I also mm. have two weeks of, you know, Grail School placement. And then I'm done, but I probably won't feel done then because there's been so much yeah. kind of half done. Mm. Yeah. So it's just the, the, the lack of a visible finite end point uh, in terms of exam season, I'm putting on the slate. Fair enough. Mm. If that makes That's sense. Yeah. And that yeah, brings us yeah. on to good vibrations. So there'll be a little cool little jingle playing. Beep, 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 beep. Um, good vibrations hey, is basically hey. where we discuss something that's been causing us to be optimistic. Yeah. Something's giving us good vibes. Vibes. Go on, Connor, hit us with your good vibrations. Well, I suppose to combat the kind of slate that I was saying about tech where pints being shocking, um, I suppose the next kind of week or something like this, isn't it? And like, oh no, no, it's not it's like a week. It's like June 7th that pubs are actually opening up. So you can actually combat that slate from earlier yep. as well. Bums, brunches and stuff like that. Like, yeah. sorry, I'd say I'm drinking that as like also fancy, like fucking line that up into my veins. Yes, that please. is what I'm very much looking forward to. None of this like, nine euro meal shite either. Oh my <laughs> God. To be fair, like, I'm with fatty, like, so as soon as I'm out, anyways, I'll just be getting yeah, like, yeah, loads yeah, of yeah. stuff. So, like, then maybe I'll just get shamed for it, but no, no, I'll be like, no, no, I heard, like, it's still a thing. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> I'll just have an excuse, but yeah, clubs <laughs> opening back <laughs> up for a like bit. That. Yeah, being able to sit, you know, around and actually get, like, a proper pint, I feel like yeah. that will be when the world is set right again. Mm. Yes, sounds fun, sounds fun. I can't wait Adventure, for myself. Yeah, normality will be resumed. Uh, my good vibrations is essentially, there's a little cheeky rumor going around and I think Michal Martin's joining in on the cheeky oh. rumor too. Oh. He's a cheeky lad sometimes. <laughs> uh, bas <laughs> basically, <laughs> there's rumors going around the EP uh, is actually going ahead. Now, I, have heard I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but my God, mm. If EP goes ahead, yeah. I will actually cry because oh, I have been looking forward to EP now for two years because mm. it just keeps getting cancelled and I just cannot yeah. wait to go back. We had our first EP, it was phenomenal, 19, yeah. and we can't wait to get back in again. And I think it's going to be absolutely be even better now. Crazy. At least mm. everyone's because I remember thinking twenty twenty early twenty twenty. God, EP would be good this year, but I worry that it'll be anticlimactic because last year was so, so good. good. Whereas now, because we missed it last year, it'll be in full force. All Bam. systems go, it'll be amazing. Will you be in attendance, Connor? This may shock you. I've never been to EP. Oh, I've never experienced it. So um, the prospect that it actually might be open, I would be... Uh, 
I mean, I'd be on that picket, picket, yeah. picket fence. Yeah, I'd be yeah. campaigning for it. Absolutely. I had I no think... idea. Wait, that's supposed to be going ahead. Jesus, that's ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few more tickets been released as well. They announced that today that they're planning on selling a few more tickets. So yes, get your tickets. We'll see you there, Connor. And we'll meet you in <laughs> the, uh, the Heineken tent. Yes. And we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have a chat in person. We're great. And the three of us will have our own sit-down at that point. We'll be interviewing the guests, the singers that have to come off the stage. Yeah, yeah. Hose, yeah, Hose, yeah, Hose yeah, will yeah. come off and it'll be the three of us interviewing yeah, them. Exactly. Mm. Great great um now the table I'm putting on the Good Vibrations table mm. today, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's a fruit, boys, and it's the fruit oh. of strawberries. And I'll tell you why, oh, boys. Yeah. I oh. just think, I do what it is, boys, and, and there's a whole kind of relationship with, with summer kind of there yeah. as well. Mm. I, I, was, I, was, I was eating a few strawberries there just the other day. It was a beautiful day. I was going to eat a few strawberries. It's just got me thinking about the nature of the fruit and how there really isn't anything that they're not good for. You could have strawberries in your cereal if you want, first thing in the morning. Yeah. A little snack during the day while you're sitting on your swing chair, having yum, a yum. lunch, right? Strawberries can, and yogurt. Strawberries and yogurt yeah. as a snack. Mm. So breakfast, lunch, and uh, and and well, dessert boys. Strawberries and ice cream. Strawberry Classic, cheesecake. Boys. I was eating it. these strawberries and just uh, the taste of summer is encapsulated in a strawberry, and it's magnificent. And then it got me thinking as well of uh, watermelon. And watermelon sugar. Yeah, because there was a time last year. <laughs> when myself and a few mates from college literally just bought a watermelon between the six of us, got a mate's scissors, fucking just started ja- stabbing into it, <laughs> split it between us and just, you know, like this. Slurping it in, it's yeah. Slurping oh, away. yeah. But it's still summer, boys. Summer fruits, yeah. strawberries, watermelons. It's all so good about bracing. I can't wait for summer to... Well, I'm glad your, your summer well. fruits yeah, That's so pure. In. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just excited for the strawberries. Like, <laughs> for somebody as well, that like when we were growing up, I actually, that was one of my first jobs. I always kind of do this with educators being like, oh, what's like, you know, some character will job student uh, when you're growing up? Because when we were younger, we actually used to have to pick strawberries for like our like uncles and stuff like this. When I tell you, it took me, I'd say, about six years, I couldn't eat strawberries because there's only so many raw ones that your brother can oh fucking God. fart your head and yeah. like burst into your face. Yeah. Like, oh, I've been traumatized by strawberries. But also, came back around to it now. Big believer. Yeah, summer's coming go. around. Yeah, when you see oh, the strawberries. I was thinking I was going the opposite way. I was like, is this really now Connor's true fear? It's actually strawberries. Yeah. My good vibration. That'll be. Really yeah, my teeth falling out, strawberries fucking pelting me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're learning a lot about you today, Connor. Your, your guest will be intrigued to find out yeah, all of yeah. this, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> are we on to a weekly whimsy? We are on to oh, the weekly Oh, here we go. This is, this is something funny that happened to you during the week. Could be something that happened to you, an experience, or something that you've seen that made your day. Connor, weekly whimsy, over to you. You have the floor. So... I've got like two kind of ones. So um, one of them literally just happened today, and I was like, "This is hilarious." Um, and the other one literally happy, uh, happy happened the day before. So um, the job that the job that I am at the moment turns out podcasting isn't that lucrative. Um, <laughs> big brand deals. So I actually do have a day job. Um, but uh, I'm very much not like as I said, it's not really around my kind of categories that I'd like to be working in. So I've been trying to do all these different interviews for other jobs. But I mean, when I've been doing so many of them so often now, because so many of them are just been like, oh yeah, what about this day, this week? And you're working around work as well. It feels like I'm doing speed dates. Um, (laughs) So essentially I have just got way too comfortable with just chatting to people on the internet. And obviously from doing the podcast like this yourselves. So whenever it comes to an actual employer, I don't have that like filter in my head to be like professional time. So um my weekly whimsy um, was uh, one of my last kind of uh, ones that I had the other day. They're obviously chatting away. I spent the entire um, interview slating because it was for this like social media kind of thing job. And I didn't realize I spent about 40 minutes just absolutely slating their social media. Um, <laughs> and then like to a point where they're being like, well, that was good that like, Jimmy, you critiqued it rather than just like saying it's great. I like I went to town on them. I was being like, <laughs> yeah, no, that was like really impressive. If it was done better, like <laughs> it was really not cool of me. And then to top it all off, the end, I was just like laughing. Like, Haha. They'd be like, I suppose, like, what's like they're like just trying to come up. You know, there's those weird interview questions are asking. What is like you know the last bad decision that you've made? And I was like, oh well, I had about uh, four coffees this morning, so uh, I've been shit sitting up in here. And then I like <laughs> literally like came out of like the whatever like this, and they're like, ha, like you know, awkward laughs. Came out of the like, interview, and I just like turn around, and I was like, that was a fever dream. I did not just. Wow, well, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. that was forty five minutes that I just absolutely. I was like, Connor, you need to understand what's happened. But <laughs> a good laugh, anyways. I enjoyed that. 
You might the get the other job. one. Who know. knows? Yeah, I mean that's what. I mean, fucking jizz will be present. <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone with a bit of a bit of edge, you know, something. Yeah, different. oh, you know, again, yeah, they definitely the got that. Different. Like, um, but uh, the other one, I don't know if you guys are on Twitter much or anything like this. No, maybe. Uh, I dabble in and out of Twitter. We do have a Twitter account. It's very inactive, mm. and anything we post gets no likes. <laughs> yeah no i'm the exact same like twitter is not my great thing like for pushing out material but for like following people oh my god like love dublin twitter in particular but um one big thing it's not even like dublin twitter but uh there's these two girls and i don't know if you've seen the video they're called the cock destroyers <laughs> oh no. yeah i've heard of them yeah <laughs> right so i found out about them and i thought they're so funny and like there's uh, this meme page that lets you like one of the girls put up a video where she's like fuck me it's a sunday and every single like sunday it's like reshared and retweeted i get sent i sent it to other people but basically her name's sophie anderson <laughs> and me being the shameless person i am i was obviously being like saying that like some news has been coming out about them and i was being like you know what there's fucking master see if i can get her on the podcast that'd be hilarious yeah. um essentially a porn star like and they'd be just so funny um and then i followed her on instagram I woke up this morning um, after doing like a podcast last night. I was a bit hungover actually because work working from home. So I was like just necking away the wine. <laughs> woke up and I swear to God, because I fell back asleep. I thought it was a dream. Sophie Anderson, one of the cockroach stories, follows me now. So haha. You, <laughs> you might have yeah, her on the so, podcast uh, soon. You might just, you might just. Yeah, who knows? Like, I mean, that's always a fun one to be like, hey mom, hi dad. It's like something really cool for me. Yeah, who was that? It's like, oh, she's just a cock to story. Did you know yourself? Like, yeah, 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 it's really cool. But, but um, yeah, <laughs> those are my two. Well. Good, those are my funny trip. ones of the week yeah yeah <laughs> very good my weekly whimsy actually uh, happened this week as well uh, hence the weekly whimsy yeah. but uh, i was in centra with my girlfriend and we were queuing Ooh. up right queuing up. we were queuing up with a few a few bits and bobs mm. bottle of wine mm. ice creams and um obviously you're wearing masks in the shop now and i was just standing and there was a girl in front of me and she was kind of standing aside and looked like she was kind of looking at me. And I and I just kind of looked at her. And I, I thought that she was looking at me as if to say like, oh, like, hey, like, I know you. And because she had the mask yeah. on, I was like, I don't really recognize her. Mm -hmm. But I just went, oh, hey, like, how are you? And all. And she and she was like, oh, yeah, 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 not too bad, not too bad. How are you? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. How have you been keeping? Like, how's your mom yeah. and dad? And I, I thought it was I thought it was a friend of mine, but yeah. I couldn't actually tell. <laughs> because of the mask and she started going on like oh yeah like you know work is shit and all it's just been so stressful like you know thinking, yourself who are you all. what and can I, I ask that's yeah. like it's not obviously i don't know who you are but it's like it'll like, give me a hint you know yeah who, i love that this? she is like play, completely played into this she must be thinking that you're somebody as well yeah that's it yeah. but i thought it was one of my friends then i was like oh it's such and such and i was like oh how's your dad and all and she was like yeah he's fine you know yourself and all and then i left right and she she came out without her mask and i just turned to orla and i was like I don't have a fucking clue who that was. That was just a random person. This random person in the shop, I thought I knew. She thought she knew me yeah. because I was mm. looking at her and she was looking at me. And we both had this, like, yeah, 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 we yeah. know each other, but we don't what? know each other, but we're pretending asking that we do. Like, and asking sorry, each other how so our families pure. are. <laughs> and I never met her in my life. It was so She, funny. like, just starts on, like, she just starts, you know, fucking unwinding into, like, real deep personal issues. Yeah. And then just walks out of the shop. She's like, no, oh, that's me done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheaper than therapy, yeah. <laughs> God. That that's a unreal. Funny, that's yeah. a funny. That's a funny encounter. And these things happen. These I know. things happen. Paddy, uh, yeah, well, my one was just be boys. Uh, a group of lads that I've kind of really started watching over the last uh, last week. Um, like I'd seen them before, but I'd never really kind of indulged in their in their content. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the, the two lads they post loads on on TikTok. You've probably heard of them, Connor. Uh, they go by the name uh, Key and Peel. It's it's it's. Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele. You didn't know who they were. I knew who they were, and oh. I'd seen the sub teacher skit like maybe two years back, but I never really indulged and like oh. watched a lot of their videos. But yeah. this week I've been flat out on them, like flat out. Um, oh, I don't, and you know what? When you're studying or whatever, and you're really stressed, and, and you're getting your head and all this, and something just, funny, yeah. You need yeah. something that completely just takes it out of that headspace. I, I, ninety nine percent of these guys' videos does exactly that. I don't know where they get their ideas. They're extraordinary. Um, oh, they're unbelievable. I, I think my yeah. favourite one, I saw, I, you've probably seen this one, Connor. Um, it's, it's basically an, an airplane skit. One of them is like the, the pilot and the other is just a passenger. <laughs> and, he, and the seatbelt signs on and he needs to get up to go, go to the jacks. Yeah, yeah. And you just, your man, the captain appears. Like, where do you think you're going? Seatbelt signs on. Just doesn't go to the bathroom, you know. And, and there's a whole big kind of conversation. 
And uh, anyway, there's a bit of turbulence, but it's just yeah, so overly played. Yeah, and yeah. you're like flying oh. up to the ceiling and ah, oh, anyway, the whimsy. Funny. The whimsy. The whimsy's oh. just them, boys. Oh, just them. The whimsy's no. just them, boys. Oh. Sir, what I would do to come back and like relive that for the first time, like it's like watching yeah. one of your first TV series. I've introduced Key and Peele to so many people. Like, you know when you're just like sitting out in the couch or stuff like this and say if you have housemates or anything and you're just being like, oh, just chuck on something. When yeah. I say it, we spent hours on YouTube just watching really, your yeah. stuff. Oh, there's this one that like I let you get quoted to you all the time. I don't know if have you seen it where it's like the continental breakfast. He like goes into like this hotel. No, it's the stupidest <laughs> thing in the world. But he's like, when in Rome, it's like, ah yes, yogurt or like gogurt. It's like yogurt, but to go. It's like, like, <laughs> like, like it's just so stupid. But do you also know it's um it's a key or pill that also like ridiculous like amazing director has done like yeah. get out has done you know um all those things as well like whatever yeah, he discovered all that yeah. I was like, Patrick was literally yeah. talking to me like he was like oh did you know that he wrote get out and i was like it's ridiculous like, what yeah like, that's so bizarre yeah, like, really Jesus. Cool. well yeah. i think we've come to the end of our show connor it's been an absolute pleasure having you on and it was uh it was really enjoyable to chat to you about been, yeah. your life and podcasts it, it has. It and really has. comparing how Cause all, yeah, cause it deals we, with art. We've listened to the show. We've listened to the show. We've really enjoyed <laughs> it, but it was great getting to know the man behind the voice. Exactly. Have you enjoyed yourself, Connor? <laughs> I have had a blast of a time. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks so much for having oh, me on, honestly. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> very good. No, it's been my pleasure. Thanks so much for having no me on. No bother at all. Well. Guys, uh, make sure that you go and follow Connor Finn on Instagram with his podcasting page it is called Finterviews and he's recently just started a new chapter of Finterviews called The Fintervention and you must Mm. check it out you need to come to him with all your life problems and he'll he'll have a solution for them he'll sort you out but yeah make sure you like and subscribe and follow Connor and you also follow the Paddy and Dara show five stars on Apple Podcasts do all the bits and bobs you know the drill lads it was always a pleasure always a treat good night and see you next week it's the Dara and Paddy Show. What's it called? The Paddy and Dara Show. I'm pretty sure we said the Dara and Paddy Show. Definitely the Paddy and Dara Show. That's the one I